Hey everyone, today I want to make a video about my career, what I do, and kind of explain to you a little bit about instrumentation and controls. Um, the title of this post is, if you like Arduino, this career could be for you. So I want to show you guys a project I made. So when I was in school, I had to go for my two-year associate's degree, and we had to make a capstone project showing off what we know as it concerns to instrumentation and automation. So I built this color sorting conveyor belt where I just feed some candies down this conveyor system and a color sensor attached to an Arduino would read the color and it would send a discrete output to a PLC. And then I wrote the logic in the PLC to you know, activate actuators to send the candies off the line in certain positions. And I noticed on YouTube, when you look at these videos, a lot of there's a lot of people that view videos about Arduinos, but there's not that many people that view videos about automation and instrumentation as a career. So I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it. And instrument technicians maintain, test, inspect, and calibrate equipment to ensure that it's in good working order. And I'm here to tell you that it's a little bit more than that. Instrumentation and controls is basically a hands-on engineering job in the field of industrial maintenance. And you're a specialist that specializes in automated processes and electrical troubleshooting, as well as calibrations. It's two different things. Instrumentation is your sensors or your instruments. And you, you know, these factories have to calibrate those instruments to certain standards. And then the C part controls or the E part instrumentation and controls instrumentation and electrical, or sometimes they call it instrumentation and automation, that part is controlling these automated processes. When, you know, a machine stops working, the operator pushes the button and the thing won't do the thing, you got to run out there and figure out what's wrong with it. So you're going to bring, you know, electrician tools, a multimeter, and you're going to run over there and you're going to figure out where's the problem. Maybe it's the power coming into the panel, Maybe there's a blown fuse. Maybe one of your sensors isn't reading properly, but something in that automate, automated process isn't right. And so that's what I do at work. Um, that's, that's, you know, instrumentation controls, automation and electrical. That's what it is. And how does it relate to an Arduino? Well, an Arduino is the same exact thing. You program an Arduino, there's sensors. Usually they're discrete on or off sensors, but sometimes analog sensors and you're controlling a process an arduino is a programmable controller a plc programmable logic controller is the same thing as arduino it just uses a different programming language called ladder logic and it's a lot more sturdy and robust and very expensive and a lot of these companies have this equipment and they don't have people to work on it so instrumentation technician automation technician sometimes electrical technician. These are, these are kind of newer jobs that are created to fill a void within these companies. You know, when these machines break down, these companies, they have to call contractors out to come fix it, and it's very expensive. So in the last 10, 15 years, I think a lot of companies have been adding automation technician, controls technician positions to their roster so they don't have to have outside people come in. So you come in, and you're a specialist that's there to fix these machines when they break, Okay, that's cool. You're a controls technician, an automation technician, but what happens if they don't break? Well, we got to find something else for them to do. Well, we have all these calibrations that we contract out, and that's where you get your instrumentation and controls. You're doing calibrations, you're fixing machines, you're doing electrical work and an electro, electrical PMs, and that's the career. So that's what I do. That's what, what my channel is about. Anyone who's watched my other videos, I'm, maybe this is no new information. Maybe you'll get some new information, but I appreciate you guys checking it out. How much does this job pay? Here's the real important part. How much does it pay? So I see a lot of INC jobs starting around 25 to 28 an hour for a first job. And it's good because we need those jobs out there so people with no experience can get the lower paying jobs that they can't fill. And then they go up, I'll say between 42 and $50 an hour at the top end, depending on the cost of living in the state you're in. You're somewhere like, let's say, I don't know, Georgia. I think Georgia's cheap. 
Maybe it goes up to 42 after you have a couple years of experience. If you're out in California, it's gonna be about 50. So that's where you're at, 26 to 50 an hour. So now I just wanna speak a little bit on the different job titles and job satisfaction. So job titles, here's the thing about the job title is there's not an established title for an instrumentation and electrical technician. There's not one title. It's instrumentation controls, instrumentation electrical, automation technician, automation and electrical, automation and instrumentation. They kind of mix and match those words together. So if you look up the data on this type of work, some of the results are kind of skewed and sometimes it's uh, it's difficult to get a clear picture of salary and job outlook and stuff like that. So if you do a little bit of research, I wanna you know, just suggest that you look at different titles and you look at different sources because you're gonna get a pretty wide variation in the information that's out there on the internet. So just keep that in mind. But if you look up job satisfaction, I think it's pretty common that there's a high job satisfaction field, I mean, and it's a well sought after skill set. Um, my last job, the last place I worked at, we, there was there was two open tech, technician roles. I was an automation electrical technician. And those two open roles were open for almost a year before we found two people to fill them. And the one guy uh, didn't even have an associate's degree. He had a uh, certificate. He had a, like a nine month certificate from a college in motor controls and they hired him. So the outlook's good. The job satisfaction's good. The pay is good. And there's not enough people to do the jobs. Once you get into the higher paying jobs, let's say you're up at like the 40 an hour level. Um, they're not going to hire someone right out of school for that. Most likely they're going to want you to have some real life skill set and experience on similar equipment to what's being used at that company. But once you get to that point, you're making 40 bucks an hour, give or take. A lot of these jobs also have overtime opportunities. So it is a pretty high paying career, honestly. Uh, I look at it as pretty similar to nursing as far as compensation goes. But um, yeah, I'll just look up job satisfaction on the screen here so you can look at it. I mean, people enjoy this type of work. It's, it's a solid career and it's a career that you can leave at home. So I guess in conclusion, if you like messing around with Arduinos and you're good at it and you like figuring out the puzzle, I would highly suggest that you look into instrumentation and electrical or automation as a career, as a technician. You don't need a bachelor's degree to get this job. Usually it's an associate's degree. And if you play your cards right, you can start working while you're still getting your associate's degree. I did. Um, I have some other videos on that topic. So yeah, all you Arduino people, check out my other videos. Um, just look into it. It's great. It's a great career. You wanna look at engineering technology degrees to get started. A lot of people start out as an industrial maintenance technician and just kind of work their way up into controls. That's another way to get into it. So again, I just wanna thank you guys a lot for checking out my video. Thanks for checking out my channel. I really appreciate you guys and have a great day.